Hello everybody, welcome to the final first round, second round match, sorry, of CCL number 47. It is Kinroth and his Wood Elves versus Elliot and his Dwarves. Kinroth was the higher TV uh, uh, team by quite a way. And ah, it was there was a uh, get the ref a kick off. Uh, did not understand this at the time. So Kinroth paid 150k of his treasury to get a wizard and has got a bribe at the kickoff. Elliot has got a bribe at the kickoff. And he induced a wizard, an apothecary, and a halfling chef that has stolen one reroll. And uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I was, I was I, when I was watching this live. I was completely shocked that he had a bribe as well. But um, how is how is Griff gonna handle this tree without? How is Griff? How is Elliot gonna handle this tree without Griff? Yes, there was there was that match, wasn't there? Um, so you know, it's it's interesting, right? I don't think the Wood Elf team is that good. Uh, there's a lot of doubles, right? Loads of guard. I mean, loads of guard is good, obviously. There's loads of guard here on this team. Like it's a good, it's a two thousand. 100 or whatever uh, elf team like it's good don't get me wrong you've got a movement nine you've got loads and loads of guard you've got a strength four leaper but there's this look at this this the juggernaut oh god tackle strip juggernaut tackle mighty blow juggernaut armor six uh obviously the uh strip ball and juggernaut no good against the runners so yeah, sure, Daedal. Sure, Daedal. Um, <laughs> let's, uh... <laughs> let's get Banana Banana Man <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> I mean, I think the L's are the favourite, but like, I mean, obviously they're like 400 TV up. But, um, and they've scummed a wizard, right? Like, that, that's obviously way, way more impactful for the L's than it is for the dwarves. But, um, there's not that much stand firm because it's, it's quite a lean dwarf team. So... I don't know, they can yeah. get stuck in a 1 in 9, but still. Hello. Hello. Glorious. Hello. Some some wonderful seagull ambient noise about this. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Am I no longer Alexander Skarsgård? No, now you're Banana Man. <laughs> it's, it's there actually a Banana Man. <laughs> there is, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's a British, an old British uh, TV show. <laughs> Pretty great. Elliot has uh, moved three players into the tree this turn and said, uh, I didn't fight the tree, the tree fought me, but it sure looks like he fought the tree. <laughs> uh, greeting this hit here. Elliot said at the time he's maybe he's been watching too much Rick, but when you've got, when like he's got a chef, right, and he got the extra reroll, so. It's not too bad, is it? Like, he's got to get lucky. He's probably is unfavoured in this match. Elves are a bit disgusting. The, the redeeming aspect is that it is a move to a tree. So if he does get it down, like, he hasn't invested forever and eternity into it. Yes. Ooh, pro! Pro! A cheeky pro! <laughs> well, no Astrator. The diving tackle long beard is terrible if the elf coach forgets about him. If the elf coach forgets about him, he'll simply roll a four plus. Um, he's great if your opponent doesn't forget about him. <laughs> oh, wow, running real back, with the, uh, running right back of the ball here. The traditional elf stall. If you're going to do that, why not just dack it? That's what I say. All right, so Elliot did go for the chef. Must have done right. Yeah, he went chef and apple, and then they both got a wizard. Kinroth got an apple. I uh, got a wizard, so they both got a wizard. Oh, he did go for that play. All right. 
because um, I heard beforehand that I, I can't remember whose channel we were in talking about it when it came up, and I thought it was a great idea. And then someone said that Kim Roth wasn't in favor of it, but he must have changed his mind then. Mm. Yeah, it's disgusting, isn't it? Overdogging a wizard because <laughs> like this is a <laughs> real challenge for him. As much as he had like a four hundred TV advantage, it is Elliot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, comple it's completely the right play yeah. to take the wizard. I mean, now had said so as himself, like, he he would have taken the wizard in Kenneth's place. Yeah. Ah, clever. Clever Kinroth lied and said he'd go to 15 players. <laughs> Nice. Gotta love a bit of misinformation. So there you go, yeah, so he fails to stand up and now obviously he can abandon the tree. I mean, we are a curious bunch and like we're way too invested in this game. We all want to know. Um, we all want to discuss the only things that actually happen here. So when something inter when an interesting discussion pops up, like for sure we want to discuss that. Right? Yep. Oof. So now he's out of rerolls. Got to make this dodge. And it's it's I mean it's really tenuous now, isn't it? The, the, this this match this is out of rerolls and a team full of tackle. Not looking good for the elves. I would have quite liked blitzing that guy. I guess he's going to blitz the dancer. Just stop rolling once. Uh, and you're Gucci. Yeah. He blitz, blitzes the line now. Oof. Don't roll dub skulls. I'm sorry, I got come from like a horrendous couple of hours uh, or a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly how disgusting elves can be if they uh, if they don't fail anything. Yeah. Elliot instantly showing uh, what a snake is. Because uh, Kinroth didn't wanna didn't wanna understand that you can't snake. Uh, <laughs> so Elliot tries to remind him tactically that you, this is something that you can't. I mean, it's it's hard for Kinroth to snake in this match, right? Because he's he's gonna have limited rerolls and there's loads of tackle. <laughs> he's not even gonna get the chance to snake that much. I mean, he had the one chance right there in the turn before, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Interesting here. It might have been better to go there and, and try to keep him keep him in rather than give him the two plus out. But this is this is real hard for for Kinroth now. Hello Artemis, thanks for the raid. Glorious. Enjoy enjoy watching Flicky walk into a uh, lamppost. <laughs> Crikey, this is the leap. That's not a screen, is it? Oh wow, the leap there. Okay. So I, I watched this live. So I can skillfully pause before the turn starts, and of course your glorious. options are GFI no, to I dice him, give in until I'm um, victorious. And I potentially will move in two players and I GFI three dice him, but then obviously you don't have to move it. Recovery, Another sub, which seems terrible. it must have auto renewed lol. Or I guess you could GFI to get two assists in before you blitz, or you can use the wizard. Now I didn't really, I didn't really consider using the wizard here. I would have quite happily not gone for the wizard. Thank you very much, Bakers, for staying fantastic for 17 glorious months. Oh, yeah. Um, and... Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Kinroth. It was... Yeah, I really don't know what you do either. Um, so... But, yeah, I didn't even consider the wizard, really, but Eliod was like... You know, he made the compelling case that, you know, if he bolts, then it makes him that much more likely to get the counter score, doesn't it? And... And getting the counter score and going 1-0 up is amazing. There's three turns left. Um, well, four turns for him. And obviously you can get the ball and move eight. So, like, it was actually really good to go for the wizard, I think. And he it, instantly... Yeah, the, I, think, I think this is the kind of wizards that I... That I don't usually like to, taking. Um, when you have 
two easy sacks on the ball. Uh, well, th this yeah, is this is what I, it's funny because this is what I didn't do against Sindin. Uh, if you remember the season that Sindin won uh, Chalice, I played him that with high elves. Uh, well, I, I played him with high elves, and oh, yeah, right. I had an easy yeah. sack on the ball, and. I just went for it and then thought, you know, and kept the wizards back up, but I could have just devastated him with the wizards as well. Yeah. And then and then after I didn't get this look at that, so he rolled a one on the bolt and then double one on the GFI. Absolutely brutal, horrendous look for Eliod. Um and yeah, so I, I did I saved the Wiz and then like I either got the sack or I didn't get the recovery or I didn't get the sack or whatever happened anyway. But it was like it was a super easy sack. But, you know, if I'd put in the wizard as well, then it's just devastating and he's completely lost, right? But I thought... Yeah, and that's what happened uh, two nights ago as well, right? With the wizard that we didn't know existed. Yes, yeah! <laughs> and, like, that was exactly the same type of play, right? Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. So there's actually a trick one. Yeah, yeah, so that was so unlucky for... So unlucky for Ali up there. And uh, Kinroth gets in, but yeah, I mean, the 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 chef is really interesting, right? Because that makes it super super dangerous for Kinroth. Super dangerous. So it's it is really hard to know. Like to be fair, it's really hard to know exactly what he says, like the ordering and how what the hell he meant to do and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, especially with all the tackle. Yeah. Well, uh, fuck me. That's just. That's so gross. Yeah. And there's a kicker now, so not that that makes it a lot harder, right, for Elliot? Like, uh, it's guaranteed yeah. is, to be... Is he down to one re-roll? Eli uh, Eli neither has either, and nobody has any re-rolls now. Or it's the bribe that I saw. Yeah, it was a bribe, yeah. They've both got a bribe because of Get the Ref. But what yeah, the hell, what, a, what a couple of turns for Elliot. He should have definitely put one of these deeper. I don't know why he didn't have one deeper. Like he's got them next to each other. You know he's going to kick deep. Maybe you, maybe you have one in each corner, or you you have one like one like move eight further back, or, or move six further back. But what you have, you can't just have two here, can you? That's terrible. No offense to Elliot. It's not the reason he lost. Well, it's not the reason that he lost. If he did lose, I didn't. I don't know the result. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! I feel like you spoiled this for me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at it. Like it's just—it's terrible, isn't it? Like you can't it's, have it's, them both. Uh, it's a bit weird. Um, I'm trying to think of why you would do it, but and. I guess, like, you want to collect with one and hand off to the other, but, like, don't you want to do that anyway? Yeah, maybe you didn't how, see the how kick. How does this help that? I think in a... In case of a high kick, you want one in the middle, but you can just move the other then. Yeah. Yeah, maybe... I mean, it's pretty easy after last turn to just be a bit distracted, right? Yeah. Um, Yeah, it is. It is easy to be two 0 hard time. Like it is, isn't it? Like, and there's no reroll for Kinroth, but it's but there's, it's just some twos and threes, isn't it, to get through and uh, make it two 0 at half times. And especially with this, this setup did not help out at all. No, I, I mean, in terms of like being the dwarves. Do you need like how do you actually how do you actually score if you don't set up like this though? Well, at least have something deeper, right? At least have this guy deeper. If this guy is deeper, okay, it went sideways, so he's still. But he would have got it. You would have you would have had it in hand, at least, right? You would yeah. have at least had it in hand if he'd started further back. Um, yeah. I just think you either want you either want. One there and one further back, or or both further back. Like I don't know, you've got to do something though. Like it's hard. Yeah, obviously. I don't. I don't hate putting them like Stop on scoring. the wings of bucks. 
because you have got to think about not going 2-0 down like you have to think about that yeah, as yeah. like as stupid as it is because obviously you just yeah, want to no, score I, I completely I completely agree like I I would have probably like kept one tackle guy back but but the, the short you kick know, was the covered other, right by I, having everybody on the LOS yeah yeah So you go, 3-3, three, three, uh, with dodge, and he gets it, and uh, well, there you go. That's pretty much GG's. It's pretty much over. <laughs> but, don't go anywhere, because it's not over. It's not over, it's actually not it's over. over. It's not over. It's not over. Like, it really isn't, right, because... No, I mean, it's Elliot, and like, your uh, chef, definitely not over. Uh, and I mean, how how much we? I'm just saying. I I said it because meme and also like it's uh it's dwarf, so it's tougher than for most other racers to score twice and a half. Right? Yeah. I mean, especially if the the like the chef could take all three rerolls, right? Yeah, yeah. No, that's what I meant. Uh, so like that's the redeeming factor for Elliot. Uh, but but yeah, for dwarves to score twice and a half, he also has the moment eight. Dwarf, that changes things like in terms of like how quickly can you score, how possible is it to turn to score after a turnover. Yeah. Um, uh, fame and a cheerleader, fair enough. So this grab here, at first I thought Elliot was being terrible here, but then there is grab to make it a bit easier. Cheering fans, not that it matters, obviously. And he yeah. was an instant pow. Is there no attrition on the outside? Well, not really. There's a KO. So no, there wasn't. There's a badly hurt. Elliot as nice. well. Four times the snakes <laughs> as removals. Yeah. I count four mighty low tackers. Could no, he have one made without tackle. No. Nah, because he needed to move. It's only move eight. And the trees there right making it harder. You fall an alpha or a three. Yeah, he's I got two an reserves, so he's got a he's got a fall. I fall an alpha. Don't use it. Don't use bribe, of course. So now we can keep it for the second half to maintain numbers. Smart. But he's got to score pretty quickly here and survive the apple. Eh, uh, the apple, the wizard, hasn't he? So this is. Uh, he steals two rerolls, so Kinroth is down to one. And Elliot is up to five, which he's going to need to get the turnover yeah. score and a rapid, like, offensive score. So, I mean, imagine if he'd taken all three and then had six to none. That would be incredible. But two is still very good. It's also just fucking insane. Like, I've played so many games this, like this that I do just play, like... Just get bits done and then instant dub skulls after you dub skull thrice already. Yeah. Like, what the fuck are you supposed to do? <laughs> yep. Um, because Lehman Russ, the elves just bought the wizard out of their bank. Which is a pretty good shot. Pretty good shout because this is a dangerous matchup for them. Like, they've been very lucky to have taken basically no attrition. Well, now this this paid off. Score, score at all, let alone twice. Yeah. Scoring at all took them a one in two hundred and sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that could have easily been a one nil half for Elliot, right? Also, it's two nil. I didn't like this. I didn't. I'll be honest with you. I didn't like this. Uh, and as as the turn went on, Elliot didn't like it either. <laughs> because all of a yeah, sudden, like the ball's just not protected at all. Yeah. And it's like. These two could have just been one guy blitzing this catcher, right? 
One dude could just blitz this catcher, and then you've got another guy protecting the ball. I mean, I get you want to punch the uh, war runs when you have the chance, but that's not... That's a lot of investment on, like... Very, very marginalized part of the field. Yeah. I mean, it is hard. It is hard, obviously, to, to resist a hit on the dancer, but... It is. Yeah. Like, it's really loosely protected, right? Really yeah. loosely protected. Yeah, I mean, there's a wizard, right? Like, yeah. what? And it's what else? Like, yeah. it's just too much. And there in comes the wizard. Oh, but yeah, this, so the so wizard comes in. But yeah, he could have he could have literally... This guy could have blitzed him. Oh. And he could have had another guy here, right? So he could have had, like, a double screen. Layered yeah. double screen, but he doesn't... Yeah. Anyway, the wizard comes in. And obviously fireballs and gets two, two out of four. Um, including good the ball. Result. Yeah. Uh, Pretty bad scatter. But, uh, I mean, when you're when you're tuning up, I don't uh, hate it. Like you get four good targets, you get the ball. Like both of the runners are in there. Might have low hits on them. Like just take that shot and like sh completely close down the game. Because even if you can just like stall the recovery for the dwarves. You're in such a dominant position. Yeah, I, yeah, I, like, I quite liked it. I mean, there is certainly the argument for just, you know, keeping it. To I mean, yeah, it. yeah, of course, of course. But um, I'm just trying to, I'm ju just trying to like argue why that it's yeah. not the worst idea. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely obviously not the worst. keeping it. Because obviously keeping it is insanely strong. Yeah. So there you go. So he, he puts in his one reroll instantly on turn nine. And um, then that's uh, a bit rowdy, but if you get the ball, then. And puts the corner here, and there's a 1 in 36, a rare opportunity oh, for a 1 in 36. Why? It, did he actually need to cut that corner? Well, he certainly wanted to. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Um, like, maybe. Maybe. I wanted to get out, out of range of the blitz around the runner and had a cut the corner yeah. to do it, so there you go. Yeah. Is that going to be like Third. double GFI? Double or triple GFI. There's the mighty blow on AB6. Yep, very nice pow to roll there. Well yep. rolled, Elliot. Yep, for the first time in the game. <laughs> yeah. Sets up the eye cage for the ball carry here. I would have maybe thought about just carrying on this, like the shit runner, right? Because the shit runner was about here. Runner? Just well, a he was here. the assist. One, two, three, four, five. Um, maybe I don't know where he was. If he was here, though, he could have picked it up and got into the eye cage, right? And he's still, like, okay, he's blockless, but he's moved six, so he's fast enough if he gets there. And then Elliot makes a fatal mistake here of not making the second GFI. Um, and he could have just assisted with that guy, right? So, yeah, I hate that. On the, on the elves that do really want to take it on a blockless one. I mean, you've, you've, but yeah, yeah you, but like, it's it's the fact that you have to do the double GFI and you only made one. Yeah, yeah, and that's now. shit. Yeah. Yeah, so we go instant 2 deep. Gets yeah. the power. Yeah. Oh, no, de definitely, you're right. You obviously, you'd rather have it on the... Oh, look, your dog, that's... Yeah. That's two turns in a row that Elliot has actually had some fortune. Yep. Nope. Well, there's some. The thing is, though, like if you if you miss an apple. entire half, you have to apple that. Yeah, obviously. If you miss an entire half, and you go two nil down to Woody's, like <laughs> even though you get two really fortunate turns here, you're still so far behind. Yep. Yep, it's brutal. So he so he wants to hand off to the runner so he does this play which i liked which was chain out this guy so he can blitz and then you can run up and hand it off and he doesn't even get that he gets the ball down <laughs> brutal so he just hits the dancer and then he doesn't need to have it on sure hands which also works doesn't it to be fair yeah, <laughs> there you you go. <laughs> <laughs> Just blitz him and dodge with the ball. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That was there in the first place. Yeah, that's absolutely. Absolutely the best way to get rid of strip. Play around strip ball just by getting rid of it. So we're getting some real damage now. Yeah, now it's. Uh, now there's some yeah. 
This is up. This is it's gone from a like in just the space of like three turns, it's gone from like no damage to a massacre. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's still like you have to score right, so it's not a massacre yet. Huge, huge. Oh, come on, hold on, stop rolling those ones. <laughs> Sorry, Kinroth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. I mean, his, his dice have been incredible, obviously, this half, in terms of removal. Yeah. Like, unbelievable. Yeah. But unbelievable. Like, four of those like, will, will have a chance of coming back. Yeah, but so. it's it's not bad for turn 11, right? For turn 11, it's not bad. But it's the fact yeah, he done nothing in the first... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's yeah, exactly. done nothing the first day, so it's just like, it's just insane. One, and then you get rid of six players in three turns. Yeah, yeah. I'll take that. Two a turn. Can we keep that up? Yeah. Yeah, Pugnabon, yeah. So, like, this reroll status is, is fixed for all the time, yeah. Zero versus three. Unless the kicker, <clears throat> the events give them. Yeah, I pulled the kicker. That was a choice, wasn't it? I mean, it, it was a dead one. You have two. Um, I don't hate it. Like, because you... you uh, if you get it back, next time he kicks... Like he's still in the same position as he was in turn six. Yeah, yeah. Um, with two, with two, with, with two apples, I definitely don't hate it. He's only got one, though, hasn't he? It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's also about not having enough elves to not get turned over. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just the numbers. So just going for the dodge again, which is fair, I guess, right? He, you know, he's aware that he has to hire all, so take the blitz with him and then just dodge here because you're probably not going to power him anyway. You're still going to have to dodge. So anyway. GFI is to blitz the, uh, or the to blitz free the runner, not the runner, the blitzer. Yeah, probably was. Yeah, and then it's a sidestep burst, so you're not even gonna guarantee to get him down. Like, yeah. yeah, and if he gets in the front, then you're fucked, because then you have to dodge backwards, and yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So I like so, just going for the straight dodge. Yeah. So now, all of a sudden, we're down to six elves. <laughs> Seven uh, elves. Yeah. Six elves and a tree. I mean, four turns, it's so little. Like, that, just those two turns at the start of the half. After the wizard and the fail, like having to pick up the wall again. No, he didn't. He scattered it into his <laughs> arms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it did enough, right? Two, two turns. Well, but it's just, it's so horrible, isn't it, without any rerolls? So now, surely yeah, we'll oh, see. Yeah, I, I would not want to be in Kim Rhodes' shoes. Like, <laughs> holy shit, the stress. Wait, did the dwarves get the reroll? They did, yep, yeah, against the fair. <laughs> just just roll better. So now here we go, 4 0. Hello, Flux Train. So I like this, isn't it? It's a bit of a dacker. Love, love to see it. Yeah, I mean, what. what... <sighs> Again, like it comes down to not having any rerolls, right? But, oh, pro, yeah. I was like, how can you get a chance to reroll that? <laughs> um, obviously, like that's the player you want to have it on. Yes. Um, it's just about like getting the ball away from the dwarves, keeping it out of their reach and range. So, like having it on your fastest player that has the most ability to do anything. Um, if you hadn't had pro, I wouldn't have hated having it on the strength four, but that's a wrestler as well. Um, but it would have been like the same thing. Um, there's also this move nine as well, isn't it? So if you can keep him somewhere where he could, uh, yeah, and off and make a break. Exactly, yeah. So. I'd love to see some vanity passing. That would be incredible. <laughs> <laughs> don't think, don't think it'll happen though. <laughs> I mean, he yeah, doesn't I mean, have he to keep anyone against the punt when he's got a move eight runner, right? 
punched in the rear roll, like just try to get as much down as far as possible. Right? Have yeah. to, as you were on about already, you have to high roll. Yeah, exactly. Like he can't, he can't save things for kicks. <laughs> no, he has you, to can't, you can't. I keep safe, right? I burn my reroll. I wanna, I want to not take this GFI. No, you have to take the GFI. Like it was, yeah. uh, like I, I think I came across way too harsh when we were talking, uh, when we were doing um, uh, Leeds game, um, the uh, the Camry versus the uh, the High Elves yeah. in round one. And they were in a similar similar position, right? You as Kemri have to chase an elf team. Yeah. Like, how do you do that? You like you're so bad at it because <laughs> they just run around you, right? <laughs> um, but you have to start basing up them, like, ba like you have to start basing them up and like force out those fails yeah. that are very unlikely to happen, but they do happen, and you have to force them. Yeah. Uh, force every single dice roll, every single turn. Uh, make things as uncomfortable as possible. Yep. And here, Ali is doing it, exactly it the does thing. expose. Yeah, and it does expose you way more because it plays into their strengths. You know, in a way. But you have to do it. Wow, really? Can that's a bit harsh. That's that's very harsh. I mean, I think I think it was a bit of a dicing for Eliod, right? In terms of, in terms of the, I, the triple one, right? I haven't seen him right? play poorly for sure. Like I've seen Eliod have shit luck, but I haven't seen you play poorly. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anyone's played poorly. I just think it's been like oh, what dice? Like it would it was would have been one thing if we've seen like uh, hate breed style play, but we haven't. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Kinroth, right? One reroll and against all tackle, it's horrendous, right? So, like, yeah. never once will you have noticed me saying, oh, that was terrible making that dodge before that one. Maybe I should have done, but I haven't noticed it. It's just it's just shit because you might roll ones, right? So it's... Yeah. <laughs> it's just I mean, shit. It's, I, I came in right as it happened. Uh, I don't know if you could have done the turn... Uh, where you burned your reroll in the first half, like where I said right after, like because Elliot the first thing he did was roll a up scuttle. Yeah. But there, you you position in a way that all right, a snake here fucks you. Uh, oh, sorry, my <laughs> much. Um, but other than that, like I haven't seen anything that I hate it. No. So we go the two D on the ball. Down. Yeah. It is a hard matchup for my boys. It is. Yeah. Which is why I like oh. inducing the wizard for sure. Oh, that's a rough cast. Holy hell. <laughs> yeah. And then I quite like this from Eliod putting it in here. Could have run it all the way around as well, but like he's he's two squares away from the ball, which is close enough. With being movement aid. It's turn 14. Well, uh, could, he, could he have gotten to the ball that turn? No, 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 he would have had like do 4 plus 3 plus dodge, 4 4 dodges, I think, or double GFI. Is he in range now? Yeah, he's moving. How much in, how much in range is he? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1. 1 GFI. <laughs> could, could he have gotten closer? No. No, no, he was, there was a guy here. And if he'd gone all the way around, he would have got here. Yeah, I guess he could have GFI'd. He could have. Geified to their last turn, Good. but but I think he used a reroll last turn, so yeah, then you, you don't, don't want to do make it. any yeah. dice no, rolls, no, no, no. do you? No, no, no. Thank you, Anstom. <laughs> Banana Man was great, yeah. <laughs> Classic British TV, show sure, that cartoon. Well, you can see the cartoon. You can see it's a cartoon, but yeah, you can probably see it on YouTube or something. All the episodes of it, it was great. I mean, great one. I did my child. absolute best wolf barks. So I'm glad you liked it. And there's the double one for Elliot on the pickup. And the one on the scatter catch, so triple ones. 
Just like in the first one. <laughs> Nothing you could have done. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, the, the big moments, like... Elliot got some big moments, didn't he? Where he rolled some yeah, really that, bad dice. Definitely, definitely. Like, the first, the second half, up until that point, was all in Elliot's favor, right? Yeah. But that's what I pointed out, like, right at the as Elliot scored, right? And a couple of times before that, you're you're so far behind from the first half like yeah i dice ways they were probably equal like the not they weren't they weren't but like with the scatter catch like that elliot got uh mm -hmm. after it uh ken ross wizard like at the and the snake you didn't need to take the snake risk but it's fair to want to get completely out of range yeah. Pretty good dodges, not insane. Mm. By any means, don't, don't know how many three pluses he made. Probably not a lot. Yeah, uh, probably so not that's a lot. probably a pretty few, like pretty bad. Dodges. Probably is pretty bad. Yeah. Probably is pretty bad. Um, and that that showcase wow. is exactly why you don't want to be no rerolls versus dwarves, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, it was horrible. So like the, the oh, chef was actually God. really good. The chef was really good with having all yeah. the tackle. So it's not like yeah. so I can see why Kinroff could feel a bit hard done by on the thing, but like this it's it's just so hard to play around that. And and like it was it was the fact that Elliot's swings were so noticeable, right? The triple one on the sack and, and then the double one on the pickup are like the two big moments, aren't they? And it's like those are just like I mean, so they, horrible. But then I guess yeah, he had the they, he had the he had the double one when he was cutting the corner, didn't he? To be fair, for yeah, his recovery, it did. And and as I said, like the scatter catch on the sack, uh, like definitely. But but it's also like in a matchup like this when it's like one super slow team versus the fa like the slowest team versus the fastest team. Um, not entirely true, but you know what I mean. Like yeah, when you do that. Less. When you do that, like any swing of the dice is going to be more benefit. Like if it's a swingy game, it's probably going to favor the faster team that can take more advantage of the swings, right? Yes. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. Um, but yeah, exactly for Furio. Yeah, uh, just don't watch Artemis. Yeah, yeah, that's the, that's always a good. If you if <laughs> win or lose, it's probably a good idea not to watch Artemis. No, it depends. Just don't have a thin skin at the end of the day, right? You can watch an Artemis vote because he, he's usually pretty on point with his analysis. It just gets lost under the what a fucking idiot and stuff. So if you if you just get over that, then uh, a lot of the, what he says is is pretty reasonable. Um, so there you go. Congratulations, Kinroth. Commiserations, yeah, Elliot. Yes. Uh, and, and again, like, Kinroth, you definitely didn't play poorly. It's not like you didn't deserve to win. But yeah, you're playing against Elliot, one of the most liked guys in the community. Like you're, you, you have to expect to be the bad guy. It was like me when I played Rum Bad this round. <laughs> I, I know I'm the bad guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Thanks, uh, thanks for coming on, Diddle. Absolutely glorious to have the banana, hey, banana thanks. man. <laughs> <laughs> banana, banana. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.